Hello and welcome to the AC Observer. This is Rehan Ivan. Literature is a mirror to our past, present, and future. And as they say, a book is our long time best friend. With the ongoing coronavirus crisis, a lot of changes altered the scene. Joining me today to talk more about this, writer and magazine editor Nur Naga and author Heba Salir. Welcome to you. Now, Noor, how are you adapting with the quarantine? Well, I'm teaching online, um, so that takes most of my time. And apart from that, I, I've um, been getting a lot of work done, actually, personally. I mean, I know that I was saying a lot of people are too anxious uh, to work and they're sort of not being productive right now. I've been kind of forced to because I have um, a deadline at the end of this month. Um, so. So I, I don't have a choice. So I'm actually kind of relieved that I don't have to see people because I don't have time to see anyone. <laughs> As a writer and editor, were you affected by the coronavirus? In a lot of ways, writing is not uh, as affected as most professions. I mean, I have a lot of friends that work in cinema or um, they're visual artists or they're whatever. So they... they it's difficult for them to get access to the materials they need or they have to work in teams and you can't have people coming together. So actually in terms of, if you're thinking about different artistic professions, writing requires, is the least affected I think personally by Corona because all you need is a paper, pen, laptop. Um, so um, that being said, people don't necessarily have the like peace of mind because it's such a stressful time and people are and a lot of at least my community on Twitter this is this is the way that I've heard the discussion talked about is kind of yes now we have all this time to write but actually we're so anxious and it seems um, there's some sort of hesitation about writing and reflecting too soon while this thing is unfolding. As a magazine editor do you think the current coronavirus will affect the literary scene? perhaps the stories and the text? Well, I mean, every, everything is affecting what you're writing. So if there's a pandemic happening, you can expect a wave of apocalyptic literature to come out of that. Um, and a lot of the literature that's popular right now is kind of um, uh, fiction that by coincidence happen to be about pandemics or about um, kind of end of the world type um, stuff. So, I mean, it's definitely going to affect it, but, um, but um, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to tell in what other ways and what kind of outside of purely content and people reflecting on what this means for us as a species and as communities. It's hard to know um, how it might give way to new forms, for example, or I, I don't know. It's hard to know. Now, Heba, how are you adapting with the quarantine? I guess I'm adapting fairly well because uh, in the past I didn't have much time to do what I love to do, like drawing, singing, composing things like that. So now I have the chance to. So I spend most of the time either reading in philosophy. I was reading on Hegel for the past three weeks. Uh, I've been writing songs, writing short stories, composing, uh, doing embroidery, calligraphy, the, the things I really love to do. Do you think the current coronavirus crisis will affect the literary scene, the stories? Were you affected, for example, or inspired by any way? Yes, yes. The, the topics, the, the stories will tackle. Uh, uh, I guess will be more oriented to, the, to how it is, uh, it is possible that you develop as a person, that your consciousness develops without interacting with others, because that was the main theme at the beginning of the spread of the virus, that if we are going to stay 
home for a, for a long period? Will we be able to stand that for a long time? What does it mean to be a human without having to interact with anybody? I guess that can be a topic for, for the stories. Now, I know that a lot of writers struggle to publish their writings. With the intensive online activity now, do you think this could create an opportunity for young authors? Perhaps an alternative? I guess this uh, quarantine has made it more difficult for writers to publish their... their uh, I don't mean to, to publish, but to get their stories and their articles to be read because now everybody is a producer. Like, he, you need a consumer to consume what you produce. Now everybody is a producer. There is a large stream of content uh, going on the social media. So the writers strive to get their, their, their articles and their posts read by others because everybody is actually striving for the other's uh, recognition. Everybody is seeking recognition from the other because everybody is producing content. So I guess the quarantine has, uh, has, ga has given the chance to writers in order to write, but not to get their, their work read. Thank you for being with us today. And thank you for watching. We'll meet again soon in a new episode of the EC Observer. Until then, stay home, stay safe.